fellas, this is Zane from Ninjago, and today I bought every single one of the best LEGO Ninjago Zane sets to see who the best ninja truly is. Starting with this set here. Now this is a set that I've wanted for well over a decade. Oh man. I've got 10 sets lined up and I'm going to be giving them each a score which will add up to give Zane a score out of 100. Oh yes. This will then be compared to the other ninja. We've got ourselves the Ninja Copter. The Ninja Copter is a set that came out all the way back in 2014. Dude, this is so nostalgic. This is so sick. Back in the day, this thing retailed for $60, which is quite a lot for sets back then, but this is one of the best waves of Ninjago sets ever. we got a pixel minifigure. And fellas, this set is absolutely incredible. I've wanted this thing for literally years. I mean, back in the day when this thing came out, it was way too expensive for me. But now I finally had it. This <laughs> thing is honestly absolutely sick, dude. I mean, I absolutely love the pixel minifigure in this thing, as well as the Zane one. You spin this thing at the back and the whole thing just, like, rotates. Not to mention the fact that we've even got a missile launcher on this. So if Pixel's, you know, kicking off, we can just take her out. You can open the cockpit up and then put Zane and, oh yeah, Pixel, who's in this set. You can put her in there as well. It's got some amazing stickers and for the price this thing retailed for, it's not too bad. I'm going to have to go ahead and give this thing an 8.5 out of 10. I just love it, man. Oh, and also, by the way, did I mention that I've got the Fire Zane merch on, by the way? Or should I say Ice? <laughs> But fellas, Zane has had absolutely loads of vehicles over the years. I mean, literally ridiculous amounts. Like this set here. Let's see what we've got. Which was, of course, something absolutely awesome. Like, oh, I don't know. The Shuri Copter. The Shuri Copter came out all the way back in 2019 for season 11 of Ninjago. Zane here was actually the main character as well. Spoiler alert, he turns evil and kills loads of people, but... Other than that, Zane had a very good season, and this vehicle is... Gorgeous. Fellas, I think this thing is absolutely amazing. You know, we've got a gorgeous Zane minifigure as well. It's Jay with a spinjitsu finger. It doesn't work very well, but this is one of the only Ninjago helicopters that we've ever gotten. And this thing is absolutely sick. But we also get so many awesome play features on this thing. Like the fact that if you drive it across the floor, these blades spin. I don't know who is driving a helicopter on the floor. That feels like it misses the point. But... And there is even a turret in this thing. Dude, it is seriously powerful. And honestly, Zane, you got moves, mate. Eight out of ten. But I also went ahead and bought this box here, which actually contains the Titanium Ninja Tumbler. This thing looks pretty interesting. Now, this came out in 2016 for Day of the Departed, and honestly, this is a wave of sets that I never got my hands on annoyingly, but I'm coming back, Zane. I promise. This thing is very reminiscent of the Batman Tumbler. I mean, Zane kind of is like Batman, I guess. And building this thing up, I didn't realize just how ridiculously amazing this set is. Fellas, I absolutely love this thing, okay? The minifigures we get in this thing are absolutely amazing. Not to mention the fact that at the back here we can take this thing off and you can just put a minifigure inside of there. I love that. Now it retailed for only 30 in 2016, and it is honestly probably one of the best Ninjago vehicles that Leo has ever made. I mean, seriously. This thing is so compact, but includes so many amazing details. Like how if you press this thing in the back, the missiles come out of the side. What? Just an all-round absolutely awesome vehicle that would be amazing to play with. That should have been me. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this thing an 8 out of 10. I love this so much. But I'm also a big fan of Ninjago Max. And fellow Zane has some very interesting ones. Like this one here, the Titan Mech Battle. It came out in 2015 for Ninjago Possession. We're just going to ignore the other half of this build, uh, irrelevant. I honestly absolutely love this mech. I love this small scale for the mechs. I think this thing is absolutely gorgeous. This is super accurate to the show. It's got tons of awesome details on it. I mean, I just love the stickers and everything. It's also pretty poseable as well, by the way. The Zane minifigure we get is gorgeous as well. Dude, I'm going to have to go ahead and give this thing a 7.5 out of 10. But of course, fellas, Lego went ahead and decided, oh, you know, let's just make it a little bit better, shall we? Cook up a sweet treat, maybe. Zane's Titan Mech Battle is an Ninjago Legacy set, which came out in 2021 and retailed for $65. Now, this is amazing. I genuinely absolutely love this thing. I think this has got to be one of the greatest Ninjago mechs that Lego has ever made. Not only is this thing super poseable, looks absolutely great, it's huge, but also comes with an amazing minifigure as well. And it's very reminiscent of the previous version, whilst being an absolute dramatic improvement. The knees bend and everything. I mean, it's just it's just a different level. So I'm going to have to go ahead and give this thing a 9 out of 10. I absolutely 
absolutely love it. So there you go. Sorry, sorry. It's a very good set. But fellas, now having looked at quite a few of the most, you know, normal insane sets, I like to see something a bit more interesting. And this parcel here should help me do that. You are not ready. So I went ahead and got opening this thing up, and fellas, no way. Fellas, we have got ourselves a Ninjago Zane watch. This thing is beautiful. This is the Ninjago Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitzu Zane watch. I don't even want to tell you how much I spent on this thing. The eBay seller would not budge. Oh man, this is sick. Look at that. That is sick. Normally with these watches, they come with a minifigure that you can build on the side, but this one has the minifigure built into the watch itself. Bro, imagine pulling up to a business meeting with that bad boy. I'm taking names in there. Okay. Nah, dude, this thing actually goes insanely hard. I mean, the details on it are amazing. You know, there's shurikens all across this thing. You've got Zane himself stuck in the watch. Get rid of your Rolexes. This is the new heat. This is... Uh, you heard it here first. 7 out of 10. Please subscribe because it was, like, stupidly expensive, by the way. I'm gonna put this back in the box now. Um, it's worth more than me. But over the years, fellas, I've played with basically every single Ninjago Zane minifigure there is. And some of my favourites include Prisoner Zane, Pink Zane, Dragon Zane, Golden Legacy Zane, and even NRG Zane, which is a pretty expensive minifigure nowadays, going for up to £120. So, uh, yeah, look at me. <laughs> Rolling in it. But, fellas, I want to see what the newest Zane sets are looking like. Has he still got the moves? Let's have a look. First up is Zane's Dragon Power Spin Jitsu race car. Now, this thing came out in 2023, very recently, for Ninjago Dragons Rising. And it retailed for $35, which is kind of insane. And this might not look like a lot when you first see it, but there is a very cool play feature with this, where you pull this bar back, the wheels rise, and the cart does spin jitsu. That is, like, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. A spinning cart is always going to be a win in my books. This thing is sick. And LEGO also went ahead and released Zane's Ice Motorbike, which retails for $10. Now, this is the cheapest Ninjago Zane set that I've got, but honestly, it is an absolutely amazing set. Not only is the motorbike build really good, but if you put the suspension down, the swords come out, which is really cool. The Zane minifigure you get in this as well is a really awesome minifigure. Dude, these things both of them have to give them a 7.5 each. They're just, they're just amazing. I love the new Ninjago sets. But fellas, now I wanted to have a look at what Zane's first ever set was, which is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever got to look at. The Ice Dragon Attack, which came out back in 2011 and retailed for $20. Fellas, I absolutely love this dragon. I mean, this is such a throwback to 2011 and my childhood. I think these older dragons are absolutely fantastic. They're so unique with such incredible details. The wings on them are fantastic. The custom head mold is amazing, which also doubles up as a lethal weapon as well. This is honestly the most nostalgic Ninjago set of all time for me. LEGO released one of these for every single one of the ninja, and this probably is the most accessible and reasonably priced one because some of them are, uh, you know, pretty ridiculous. Uh, the minifigures we get in this are awesome and the price this thing retail for, dude, they do not make Lego sets like this anymore. This bad boy is gonna have to get from me an 8.5 out of 10. It's only reasonable. I love it. But whilst old Ninjago dragons are very good and obviously very iconic, Lego has continued to make brand new dragons year on year and improve the formula. All right, boys, this box here contains the final set. It's huge. Let's see what we've got. Oh, here we go. The last set is... The Ice Dragon Creature. Look at that, man. This thing retails for $90, which is like almost five times what the other set did. But even just opening this thing up, I mean, you can see how much more substantial this thing is, boys. Bro, this dragon is absolutely huge, by the way. Comparing this to the old one, it's like four times the size. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. Seriously, I mean, the colors on this thing are gorgeous, not to mention the custom head mold on it. Bro, this thing just hits different. I mean, new Ninja Dragon are amazing. I think the wings on this thing look amazing as well. It's a chunky built dragon. Pretty good price. The Zane minifigure in it is great as well as this pixel one. Honestly, boys, this thing is just, is just a little bit better. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this thing an 8.5 out of 10. Melissimo! And fellas, now I take a look at every single one of the best Lego Ninjago Zane sets and the scores were in. Out of a total of 10 sets, Zane got an overall score of 80 out of 100. I mean, you know, Zayn did pretty well there, but fellas, we still have one more ninja to look at, and things might get a little bit interesting, so maybe you should subscribe. Please, I, I would like that.